transferred to ancient Greece and Rome. And of course, in Greece and Rome, we know that the nature spirits were revered and honored and, and you know, offerings were made to them. So we have... Squeaky is taking a nap. I have my Ted Baker London notebook. Love it out loud. And I am catching up on some online classes. This is Magic for Beginners. And it's like a two hour class. And I'm like half, like 30 minutes ish in, as you can see. And you can see my reflection. Um, so I'm just in my bed doing this, so I don't feel so far behind. I missed the, um, first actual, like, live class, if you will, yesterday, because I was on an airplane, so, um, I think at some point that'll be, like, a replay, and I can watch it. But she's just so cute. We tried to cut our nails earlier and she caught on and went under the bed. So, <laughs> um, but she's adorable. And yeah, that's what's up at the moment. So, the tree is still up. The, I don't know if you can see, it's not turned on and it hasn't been for a while. Um, somewhere yonder, that way. <laughs> Outside on the lanai is that nine foot tree. How are we gonna take it down and put it away is beyond me, but we won't worry about it. Anything you wanna say? What'd you do for two weeks without me? We'll never know. So, I swear, I hope I'm not coming down with something. I'm just gonna prop you somewhere and call it a day. <laughs> I'm in a funny outfit. Um, I am tired, like no joke. And I know that sounds silly because I slept a lot, but like weird, right? Like I went to bed pretty late. Um, I don't know what this hand gesture is. But I went to bed, did y'all see this? This was to commemorate our first Christmas in the new place. And my plan is each year, if possible, um, to get an ornament for the tree um, or something to commemorate that year. So, since we, and I think we might hopefully it becomes a tradition that we go to Disney like a day or two before Christmas. Because that is bomb AF. Ooh. Um, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I swear, I was, oh, that I went to bed late. And then, like, I got up at 8 because I didn't have my eye mask. Like, by the time I got in bed and everything, I was like, oh, shoot. All my stuff's in a suitcase at the end of the other hallway, right outside my mom's bedroom. Like, I'm honestly kind of scared of her, wake her up. Like, that is the last thing in the world this woman needs right now is, if she's sleeping, for me to wake her up on accident. And then for her to, like, not be able to fall back asleep. So, I didn't... And because I don't have any like shades, blinds, curtains, etc., um, when the sun comes in, like my eyes see the sun, and the sun woke me up, and I was awake for like 21 minutes, did a watch party, and I'm light and love, my Facebook group, and um, we need to speak carefully, take out all the sand dollars. starfish and seashells so if you don't see me I'm making piles of um uh, and then I fell back to sleep till like almost one o'clock in the afternoon so 
So, I'm gonna work on this tree. And just take it kinda easy, and like I said, I'm hoping not wood, tap wood, cross fingers, whatever you do, um, that I don't develop anything. And it's just kind of like, allergies gone wild, or they need to like calm down, or, I don't know, I keep using um, saline, a saline spray mist up in the nostrils um, to kind of irrigate and clean everything out. Yeah, it's gross. I know. Welcome to my life. Um, these sand dollars, I was really thing I just showed you, feel the most fragile. Oh my god, oh my god, these could break so easily. <laughs> We don't need a disaster on our hands. You guys, I just wanna like, I started one of my online classes that um, went up sometime in January. Don't ask me when. No, it was before January, I think. So I don't know time, what day it is, what time it is, where I am, like I don't, everything's like, it all just is rolling in one thing into another, into another, into another. Um, but, at some point this, uh, it's a magic for beginners or magic 101. Um, and part of it is stuff I already know, part of it I'm learning. Um, or I've been taught this stuff before, but I'm learning it in a different way. Which is kind of nice hearing different people's perspectives because I love learning from different people and getting different perspectives and takes on things because I honestly don't believe that there is a wrong or right way to do something in general as a whole but I do think you need to find what works best for you like I've learned a few different ways to work with a pendulum and so I utilize all those varying techniques as need be. And it's funny, because depending on what the situation is, that like determines how I utilize a pendulum. And my mom will say to me, I thought you did it this way or whatever. And I'm like, well, not for this thing, I know. Oh, look at this. They're on the top of the tree. So anyways, this class is like practically two hours long and I think I'm an hour and however many minutes in. So I do want to finish it, but like at the same time I'm taking notes and just jotting down stuff that I think is important or that I want to remember. But I looked and they also, um, there might be notes like I can print out and it's like, well, I don't need to take them then, but in order for me to retain the information as best as pos possible, all that, I think it's good to hear it and then write stuff so you're constantly ingraining it in your brain. And then hopefully the class I missed yesterday will be up at some point on replay. Um, and then I'm trying to print out this free little workbook. There's like just a lot going on. Um, but I should focus, take a minute, Focus on wrapping up. I think I got all of the sand dollars and seashells and starfish out of the tree. So I can start wrapping those up before. I did take a few ornaments off. Um, and the rest are just like the ball ornaments that are easy to like wrap up. And if some of these are breakable. Most of them aren't. They just like bounce when you drop them, but some shatter and one shattered. And it was the saddest thing we're putting this tree together because it was a gorgeous ornament. And like, I got the, like the, what is that, a broom? I tried to get as much as I could with that. And then I was like vacuuming and like I could still see like little sparkly pieces all over the place. And I'm just like, I gotta keep my slippers on. So hopefully <laughs> there's no casualties. Anyway, this is probably a really long video. It could be boring. But this is my day. I am home and my mom, it's funny, like when I told my friends and I'll like, I kept her up to date on my, on my life and my schedule. 
So she's like, oh, I bet you're like happy to go home. And I was like, well, yes and no. Like as much as I needed to like get away, get a break, see my cat, have my things that I was missing so I could like catch up on life and not feel so like discombobulated and far behind and like so stressed out and so on and so forth. Um, and to see the sunshine and get away from the cold, even though I'm in, it's weird, like bare legs, Whee! but like, my living freely, a Molly Burke March sweatshirt. Um, I just realized if there's anyone home, they can see me in here, probably dancing around. I don't care. Um, but at the same time, it still felt like I needed to stay in New Jersey for personal reasons. And I may or may not have mentioned, I probably did, in a video that, like, my brother offered me to stay with him and his family. My dad offered me to stay with him so, like, my mom could just, like, come home for a hot minute and then fly back down. And the original plan was to only be here, like, five to seven days. Like, once the guy that feeds Squeaky and does, like, cleans up after her and checks up on the house and everything, comes back from his vacation, then we would fly back down. But now we're being told there's no rush. We don't need to rush. So part of me is like, well, since there's no sense of urgency today, in this given moment, because things change on a dime, um, I'm kind of glad I came home and didn't stay. But if I had stayed, either way, my mom just probably still would have came and got me and brought me back at some point. I don't know. I think we're still going to go back down. Don't know when. There's still other, like, behind-the-scenes stuff that we're looking into and trying to work out and work on. And um, my friend and I are very excited about this opportunity. Um, but I'm not going to say anything until it's officially like carved in stone. So it's one of those situations. This video has been long enough. I wanna continue working on the tree, maybe listen to some music or watch TV. Ooh, Elvis, item sold at Grace Land. What do you do tomorrow or Sunday's forecast is 79 degrees and sunny. Amen to that. Um, I'll just show you real quick. Los Angeles is playing Denver tonight. So when you have the TV, like when you pause the television show, um, you get like this informational page on how to work everything. Um, and you get these gorgeous photos. And here's Monday's forecast. You get the weather, you get the traffic. You get sports, you get news, like hockey. The Long Islanders, that's the Rangers. Part of me is like, should I get into hockey? I don't know. Like when it's not, uh, ooh, White House adds to legal item. Oh, that's nice. Hire 17 new lawyers. Um, no, <laughs> see, yeah, I got fun information and pictures. Jeez, this video is going to be like a year long. If you're still watching this, I really, really appreciate it. I really, really do. Um, it's just life has been like so crazy. The tree looks a little uh, naked, not as full. Cause we got a pile going up by the television, but I still need to take it, all the stuff off of it. Um, the only places I've been since I got here was 7-Eleven, CVS, and Walgreens. We drove by, there's like a community, um, like right next door to us. They still had some Christmas lights up, but out where I live, they had taken everything down. And so has everyone that lives here. Like we were driving by some of the places and like no Christmas decorations were to be found. So, um, with that being, look at the hair like in my face. With that being said, I feel like we're the last people. And if anyone could see in and see like there's a tree, not that we have anything like turned on, they might think we're the weirdos of the neighborhood. 
Um, so I'm gonna, like I said, work on it. So anyways, I don't know. It's just the last thing I want is to have a stuffed up situation. Because like what, I mean, I'm thinking like, well, what if we gotta be on an airplane? Like, technically my dad could fly down like he was during November and December, like on the weekends he'd fly down. My mom was flying in New Jersey, but we're at a point where I wanna be there, which is like so weird. Cause when do I ever say I wanna be in New Jersey? So, anywho's, I'ma go, I'ma let you go. In case you're still watching this, some of you might be like, yay, a really long video, and a lot of you probably left already. But thank you if you're still watching this. You can let me know you enjoyed it by giving it a thumbs up or leaving a comment, question, and or suggestion down below. Don't forget to check out the description box um, for fun things. And uh, yeah, till next time, keep it quirky.